as you know, back in the day they loved their executions, you know, to decapitate people or hang them in the main square for all the people to watch. Quite a juicy source of entertainment. We are really close to the city center. Here in Czeskie uh, Burejovice. This is the capital of uh, South Bohemia. Colorful buildings and uh, quite cool street. A lot of shops, benches, a lot of people relaxing here, going to work, go shopping or to a restaurant. Uh, what I wanted to show you here on Lanova Street is actually a, a group of sculptures made by uh, Mikhail Turpak. I hope I pronounced it correct, correctly. And here it is. It's a group of uh, eight office workers, always on the run, always going to work with only one thing in their minds make more money for huge companies corporations look at their faces they don't even seem sad they just seem lonely The humanoids, humanoidi is the name in Czech, the humanoids. It's an interesting sculpture. Men and women, people seen as machines, working instruments. Yeah, well, makes you think a little bit. Wait, it's green, I have to run. It's, a, it's definitely a good spot for a photograph or have your selfie taken with the sculptures behind you. I suppose one of the most popular ones is <laughs> you trying to look like a humanoid as well. Well, if you find that cool, then why not do it? Okay, so we're basically in the center, but the most popular spot is uh, the main square, which is uh, really big and uh, it's almost a square in the sense of you know geometrical shape. It's almost a perfect square. You can read on my website. I'll link below. Uh, I wrote uh, an article, like 10 best things, whatever popular things to do when you're in Czeskia Budevice. You can read more about this uh, there. Nam Premisla Otakara 2. This is the name of the main square. Nadraji, that's the train station. All right, let's check it out. It's a pretty nice square. The only thing I don't really like is that uh, they let people park their cars in, uh, on the square, which uh, of course is not so pleasant when you want to take uh, photographs. There are cars everywhere, but yeah, what can you do? Okay, first, this is uh, the Black Tower. I'm not gonna climb it now because I don't have enough time. But uh, it's a pretty good view from up there. It's uh, 72 meters, if I remember correctly. Uh, tall, 72 meters tall, and uh, 275 steps you have to climb. 
and uh, it's a pretty good view from up there uh, it's not a problem if you have fear of heights at least I didn't have a problem there it feels really secure oh, out of southern it's really hot here I don't know what to do with my hats though while I'm here let's talk about uh, the square a little bit and uh, maybe you're interested in uh, how expensive is Czech Republic or South Bohemia or Czeski Krumlov Czeski Burevice or whatever you want to visit around here let's talk about money for a while but first this is a better view from here because the sun Ross real fast. Right there in the middle we have a Samson fountain. Well, it's winter, so you won't see any water. That blue purple interesting building there is the town hall. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, but basically this is it. And the black tower there. A building under construction, or probably not under construction. They just want to restore it. Samson, Samson Fountain. So all these guys, you see, keep Samson there on top of the fountain, who's. Uh, fighting the lion and a lot of pigeons don't have a problem with that they enjoy sitting there and watching the fight okay there is some water though cool not frozen all right getting back to how expensive is Czech Republic well Czech Republic is not expensive Especially if you're coming from a Central European country or Western Europe, North America, like US or Canada, Australia, I don't know, these countries where the prices are definitely higher. Uh, but don't expect it to be extremely cheap because They've realized in the past few years, in the last decade, whatever, that uh, there are a lot of tourists interested in this area of Europe as well. So they have a lot of special tourist prices. The best example is uh, this uh, taxi cab that I took um, from uh, Krumlov city center to, to, to the train station took me a bit more than 10 euros which is pretty ridiculous because I think for a local would be two euros <laughs> uh, of course they inflate these uh, these prices for tourists but every year I come here to visit again and to see some of my friends and to you know just have some fun because I like the, the city every time I notice that all the prices are higher than the previous year so it's not like, wow, you've got a 50% uh, raise in 10 years. No, it's like they double the prices <laughs> almost every year, even for small stuff. But uh, basically you can eat cheap. You can buy extremely cheap stuff from supermarkets, like real food, but also, you know, crap just for fun. The beer is really cheap. Even in some of the pubs, you can buy a beer for one euro fifty. Some other pubs, even one euro twenty, depending on where you go. And uh, yeah, if you want to come here to have a party, get wasted, everything is pretty cheap. Shots of vodka for like fifty cents. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I'm saying if you want to have some liquor, 
uh, it's definitely cheaper than your country, most likely. I mean, if you if you're coming from uh, one of the above mentioned countries. Uh, yeah, food. It depends on the restaurant. You should expect to pay like 10 euro for a decent meal and a drink. That's a good price. You can also pay 15, 16, depending on the pub. Uh, maybe there are some cheap ones that you can pay um, less, like six, seven euros, more like a local price. But uh, these would most likely be outside the city center. Uh, so just, I don't know, use your common sense. Don't go to tourist traps like in Prague or whatever. These are uh, main square or uh, close to the bridge. You know, there are these, these ridiculous prices. No local would ever go there. Uh, transportation, except for taxi, it's usually cheap. Train tickets are cheap. You pay for, for example, Krumlov to, to uh, Budweis about two euro for a train ride. It's, it's good. From Czeski Krumlov to Linz. Uh, so two trains to get a seven euro to go from Czech Republic to Austria. That's why I found it ridiculous when I saw a shuttle for 32 euro from Czech Republic to Austria. That's ridiculous. I mean, I understand if it's Prague to Vienna, but just, I don't know, South Bohemia, like uh, Chesky Krumlov to, to Linz or Hallstatt, that's ridiculous. Clearly made for tourists. All right. This can be a pretty boring video, but maybe some of you would be actually interested in uh, the prices. What else didn't I mention? Oh, uh, not price related. There's somewhere here, but I don't remember where. <laughs> uh, there's the erratic boulder. Well, I'm not sure I'm gonna find it so easily. Let's see. Here you have Grand Hotel Zvon, and here you have. Samson's Fountain, where these Atlas friends hold the top of the fountain where Samson is fighting the lion. And somewhere in between, not far, which is here, it's the erratic boulder. There's the last piece of pavement from the original pavement of the square. So everything you see is identical and new except for this space with a cross on it this is the only original one and uh, it marks an uh, execution point as you know back in the day they loved their executions you know to decapitate people or hang them in the main square for all the people to watch quite a juicy source of entertainment well, uh, this piece of old pavement marks this uh, execution point and uh, there's also a legend to it. So the legend has it that if you step on this erratic boulder after 9 or 10 p.m. There are more versions <laughs> of the legend. Uh, so if you step on it, then you will never ever find your way back home. Cool. Uh, the other version of the legend has it that you won't find your way back home only to the, till the next morning. So basically you're going to be kind of drunk for the rest of the night and just wandering around and don't know where the hell you are. Uh, there's a small catch. It doesn't really work if you find the erratic boulder because you know the exact place and step on it purposely like this it doesn't work you have to do it um, accidentally 
and uh, yeah, so only so the magic works. And after nine or ten p.m., so I'm not at risk for stepping on it uh, right now. All right. So this is the city center of Czeskie Budějovice. We don't have much time left. But I still want to show you a couple of stuff here. This way. Or this way. Let's just go right and see what happens. <laughs> really nice. Oh my god. This uh, Solnice, Solnice building. It looks brand new now. They changed it completely. Uh, I'm gonna show you a photo of how it used to be. Well, uh, this is an old building here. It's from 1500 something. So 16th century, 500 years ago. And um, it used to be a storage house for, for grains, then for weapons. There's the city's uh, armory, and then uh, the sold house, therefore the name, Solnis. Sounds like, you know, sold. <laughs> then since recently it was a motorcycle museum, and now they made it a restaurant, and they repainted it, and it looks too new. Ah oh, well. I guess I have to update my articles too, one day. And uh, from here, you are really close to Panska Street. One of my favorite small streets in, uh, in Czeski, uh, Czeska Budivica. It's uh, small, but uh, colorful and pretty. So let's check it out before we head back to the train station. Some pubs here. Pension with some cheap accommodation or not, I don't know. Pretty dog waiting there for its owner. Hi doggy. Curious there. <coughs> Colorful. Some pretty buildings. A hostel and cafe. Look at these cute places. It gets even more narrow there. You can take some very colorful photographs here. Here, there used to be a rock pub up there. Now I think there's just a normal pub, craft beer pub. <laughs> All these good places, they change. Probably no one came here. Just a couple of customers, some guys interested in good music here in Czeski Budevice and uh, you don't make money out of these guys you make money out of tourists and craft beer obviously let's go back to the train station now I have a train to catch next stop Linz probably without a film so well see you guys in Vienna or I don't know with another occasion. Cheers.
awesome. Well, it really looks like it's the same train as before. My Werder Bremen hat, my jacket, suit number 26, and it looks like this. But guess what? It's not the same train. <laughs> it's just almost identical. And uh, I got lucky enough to. Do you speak English, I think? Yeah, German, English, what do you prefer? Okay, I prefer English. Right. Uh, do you have any ID card with photo and name for sure. verify this ticket, please? Sure. Yeah, thank you very much. Have a okay. nice day. Yeah,